Today, President Trump volunteered that he's begun taking a drug in hopes it'll prevent, protect him from COVID-19. Jennifer Barresso got a local doctor's take on this tonight. Jennifer. That's right, Ken. UPMC's Dr. Michael Lynch is not recommending hydroxychloroquine and zinc as a preventative measure. Now, the president has touted this drug as a possible COVID-19 cure, while the FDA is against widespread use. I'm taking it, hydroxychloroquine. Right now, yeah. During a roundtable with restaurant executives, President Trump revealed he's been taking the drug hydroxychloroquine along with zinc for nearly two weeks to prevent him from getting the coronavirus. It's been around for 40 years for malaria, for lupus, for other things. I take it. Frontline workers take it. A lot of doctors take it. The FDA has said hydroxychloroquine should only be used for COVID-19 patients being monitored in a hospital. The medical director of the Pittsburgh Poison Center at UPMC is not recommending hydroxychloroquine and zinc as a preventative measure. He said there are not enough studies that it works outside of a controlled environment. At this point, it is not prudent to be taking hydroxychloroquine and zinc prophylactically. And the main reason we say that is there is not good evidence to suggest that it prevents or treats uh, coronavirus infection. Dr. Lynch anticipates another spike in questions, requests, and exposures. Back in March, when the topic came up, he saw calls to the poison center double. I anticipate that we'll likely see another spike, hopefully in questions, though I fear we could see a spike in exposures, uh, similar to the couple in Arizona where, uh, unfortunately, one of those individuals died uh, from taking a fish tank cleaning uh, chloroquine product. President Trump says he's consulted the White House physician before taking it. I asked him, what do you think? He said, well, if you'd like it. I said, yeah, I'd like it. And Ken, there's also concern, Dr. Lynch says, about drug shortages, people who need that drug, who have lupus and rheumatoid arthritis. Reporting live in Cranberry, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.